Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2. I'm MCF Papa, and this is part 15. And something I'd just like to point out is... It's cool if you... It costs two coins the first time you want to use Funkies, but then every time after that it's free. That's a nice touch. So it ain't as bad with needing money to travel to other places. Anyway. Time to see Clubbo one more time. A vast there, touch me or a gold here, and I'll slice you in two. I've like changed his accent so many times during this playthrough, but oh well. Anyway, something interesting is that with every world level in the Lost World you complete, you get more of the bridge there built toward the center volcano. And it's time for Fiery Furnace. A volcano level, I'm presuming, yeah. Well, that's cool how, like, it's even, like, pulsing. Anyway, um, if this takes half as long as the other one, I think there might still be time to do the boss of the Gloomy Gulch yet. I'm also, after the fiasco of the last level in the bonus world, I'm instituting a policy where if it takes me 20 minutes to do something in this level, like 20 minutes to get to the checkpoint or whatever, then I will start using save states. That's not saying much that I managed to get to the checkpoint on my first try. And if that guy wasn't gonna throw his stuff, then I'll take it. Because in the other Lost World level, like, it, the first half of the level was really easy and it was the second half that was brutally hard. Stupid cat and nine tails are here too. Because of course they are okay. Didn't expect the zingers to fly clear up there. I bet that's for the bonus. Oh, 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 oh. First try? Ha! Huh. First try on that. Wow. Now that is impressive. So I don't know what was up with the uh, previous Lost World level, if I was just being bad at it, or what. I don't even need to cut out anything, because I 
did it the first time, huh? Though well, maybe I should. Because you've seen this already. Come on, throw me up in it. Oh well. Can always just use team up throw. Okay. Again, though, now this one's a stupid bramble level again. They love using the bramble aesthetic for bonus stages that aren't in bramble worlds. Or bramble levels. Doesn't make sense. And I mean, it does... Oh, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I'll be back. Man, the stupid things take forever to tire themselves out. Okay. Time to try it again. At least this bonus stage is making good use of the gimmick of the main level, but it's not the proper thing. It's not the proper level aesthetic. I guess they wanted a more vertical type thing? I don't know. And I ground up a bunch of lives off screen just for this level because I was expecting it to be an insanely difficult thing to do. But it wasn't. I'll take it. Anyway, on to the boss, Creepy Crow. And it's the first world boss again. And it's the ghost of all the stupid birds you've killed. And you want to kill the real one. Because then it'll make a barrel spawn. Oh yeah, and then she'll, like, throw eggs down at you. Oh, there was a, another DK barrel, wasn't there? to the side. I heard it for a split second. Okay. I didn't expect that to happen. That there would be more crows yet. Or vultures. Why is it the level titled Creepy Crow? It's also weird that it's a rigging aesthetic level for the boss when rigging wasn't used anywhere else in this world. Yeah, there is a DK barrel there. I wonder if you could get hit by an egg falling down after you were fired out of the barrel. Knowing this game, probably, and I missed the stupid thing. Oh, he comes back for another pass. Or she, or whatever it is. It's a stupid crow. That's what... It, stupid vulture. I See, I got crow on my mind. Now, because the... Stupid, and I missed. Because the stupid level title. Okay. I forget how many stages there are to this. 
I mean, logic would dictate it would be four, since that's how much the first world boss had. Huh. Okay. I think which side the hooks fall down changes depending on if you're, if you like hit the crow, the vulture on the left or right side. Maybe I, it's a good thing I ground up the lives for the boss fight. I wonder what determines where the barrel spawns. Or if it's maybe just randomized. Is it dead? Hey, it's dead. I killed it and its ghost. For whatever sense that makes. Oh boy. Anyway, now it's on to K. Rules Keep. Oh boy. Now you can once again see DK Island in the background of this world, but it looks so much more sinister and dark in here. I guess because you're nearing the end. But this whole like top of the tower looks so cool, like with the blue lighting out coming out of the crocodiles' mouths. And hey, we get another ice level. And C 
secret? Well, banana coins. Don't know if there was anything else, but hey, we get on guard. In a whole level. Ooh, there was something there. Let's see, now this is a water level, but it's not using the sunken ship aesthetic. Oh yeah. Now, I know you don't need to get all of the stars here, because you can't. There we go. Not too bad. kill the puffer fish and the starfish if you have a fast enough reaction time. <laughs> okay. Alright. Sure. of the enemies rotate when you hit them. Hey! Got the DK coin. Huh. And then it just taunts you by making you lose health. Okay. I wanted to turn around but couldn't there for some reason. And all the lives I collected will probably come in handy here. I'm going the wrong way. Like, this world will probably make me lose quite a few of them. There's something here. No? It's a weird, like, indent there. Just gotta go up slow and steady. Oh, come on. I guess there was just lives or something hidden there. No? Nothing hidden there. So what was the point of, like, being able to go over it? I guess just to avoid the pufferfish guy? I'm not sure. Well, I skipped over all that. But I didn't get everything here, did I? Nope. 
Oh, he unlocked Clubba right away. And he's like set up shop back on DK Isle, I guess. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be much logic with how you travel through the world map in this game. Like in DKC1 and DKC3, there were clear paths for you to walk along, but here it's like, you just go wherever. Anyway, I'll be back when I find the bonus. Ow. Oh, wait. Aha! Uh -huh. Is this it? Yeah, it is. Another chest breaking thing. I really love to get mileage out of the chest breaking mechanics. I wonder why. Maybe it's just something easy to program that could have several potential scenarios. I'm not sure. But anyway, that'll do it for this part, so like and subscribe if you want. I'll see you next time when we'll go on to Windy Well.